Hi everyone, and welcome to a pretty miserable Monday morning, or well, Monday afternoon it is now. Um, so this time last Monday, I was on a photo shoot and it was 27 degrees, and I had like half an hour to kill, and just laid on Hyde Park for half an hour, ch like chilling and soaking up the sun. Today it's five degrees and it's wet. It's actually stopped raining now, which is a good thing, but it was really coming down earlier. Today's video is gonna be kind of a collection of what I've been wearing this week. So today's Monday, I'm gonna fill you in every day, Monday to Friday, and what I'm up to and what I'm wearing for that specific occasion so you can sort of see you know how I look during the week um, today started off quite disappointingly in that I was supposed to be working with a brand this morning um, contract was signed all that stuff I turned up to where I was supposed to be um, and I was supposed to meet someone there who was you know gonna talk me through everything and you know all that stuff they just didn't show up <laughs> um, it turns out that I, I then called my management it turns out there'd been miscommunication somewhere and their end they hadn't passed the message on that I was going today so I'm gonna to have to reschedule it but then I was just in town and had time to kill because my first meeting wasn't until 2 p.m. so I've just been kind of I went to um, just like a like a, a club slash bar sort of thing and just got my laptop out got my notepad out and did loads of writing so wasn't a waste of time actually really productive just wasn't exactly what I was intending anyway I'm now off to gleam um, my management just to sort of say hi and show my face because I haven't seen them for a while so um let me talk you through my look today. Welcome to what was a very quiet corner a minute ago, but now has a lot of foot traffic. Uh, I'm gonna start by explaining my bag to you. You've seen this bag a million times. It's by Coach and I adore it. It's like the best bag I've ever had. I'm very particular about my backpacks um, because I travel a lot and I've always got my laptop with me. I've always got a notebook with me. I've always got pens on me. I've got like chargers and I've got portable, um, portable chargery things and I've got wires and I have lip balm. Just, this is so well organized, but I love it. It's got a big old section here, which has a water bottle in there. It's got, um, but I'll show you what's in there. Loads of pens. Come on in, Georgia, I'll show you what's in the bag. There's a water bottle in here. Uh, that's all actually in the big compartment because I've got rid of everything else, but I have a plug socket. I've got like various pens and pencils and here I have wires and stuff. Um, in the front pocket, I have here my portable charger that can actually charge my laptop. Um, I've got a worldwide adapter because I travel a lot again. Um, I've got like a memory card, reader, earphones, which are really cool. They're wireless earphones actually by Jabra. Um, I love them. And I've got like house keys and a lip balm and all sorts. And then in the back compartment here, I have my laptop and I've got like a uh, document holder which has like my script that I'm writing at the moment and like video ideas and just ba basically like my Bible. All right, now allow me to talk you through my outfit. Everything I'm wearing actually I've had for a very long time. This uh, jacket here is leather with shirling and actually when it was raining earlier, the shirling got very wet and it's still a bit damp now. It's from Burberry and I love it. It's one of those things, a real investment piece that you'll have forever. I've had it probably like two years now and it gets better with age and loosens up a bit. Um, it's like a cropped body, sort of blues on shape with like a nice big collar and it's super cozy, mother like this, when it's like five degrees, it's kind of keeping me warm enough. Underneath it, I have like my favorite jumper of all time. I've got an all black everything actually, apart from the yellow strip and the dinosaur. It's from Coach, had it forever, um, and it's got a dinosaur on it. I love dinosaurs, but it's also cashmere and it's so soft and so comfy um, and I love it. And then my jeans are Levi's. These are 501 T. T stands for tapered, so they're actually 501 shape, but kind of a bit narrow at the bottom. And my boots are from Oliver Sweeney, uh, and they're just super comfy black walking boots. They're like amazing. They're really casual and really soft leather and super easy to wear. And then I have a bit of colour on my socks. Red socks. These are my favourite socks. Tom bought these for Christmas, and they are so comfy. So today is all about sort of just being comfy and getting the job done basically but also all black everything is always a great look so that's all let's head on to glean it's PO box time so what I've done as usual here is kind of picked up the things that brands have sent me but not shown the letters that uh, you guys have sent me because you might not want them read out and it'd be weird if I was to sit here and go this person has confessed their deepest darkest secrets to me so this is just kind of branded stuff um, I'm gonna start from right to left here I have a lovely bottle of Grey Goose this represents the other five bottles they sent me <laughs> I thought it might be weird having six bottles of vodka out here um, I'm actually working with Grey Goose I'm going to a Cannes Film Festival with them in like a week and a half which 
I'm very, very excited about it. I've mentioned it a bunch of times now, but as you know, I'm writing a film. Film is very important to me. Um, I'm really excited to go to Cannes Film Festival. Never been before. Been to Cannes quite a few times, but never at a film festival. So I've got myself a new tuck sorted, um, and I'm just really excited. So thanks very much to Grey Goose. Uh, here, <laughs> this is an interesting little thing. It comes with the, the uh, these, the Nen's um, oat cakes. And this is kind of like a, I guess like a desk hoover. I haven't actually opened it yet, but it's like crumbs away it says on it and then underneath there's a brush so I'm guessing it's like a desk hoover so if you're eating your oat cakes and you make a mess you can just sort of hoover them up here I have a really lovely shirt from Percival you might remember Percival in fact you probably know because I talk about them quite a lot uh, it's a brand that I beginning of this year um, designed well actually before the beginning of this year designed some stuff with them which came out at the beginning of this year I made a uh, corduroy sort of um, denim jacket type thing but not denim because it was called um, and then a uh, pea coat and it was lovely and it did really well and everyone liked it so that's good um, and Chris who um, is the brand owner always sends me stuff and I actually watch this space because there might be more to come with Percival and Chris but this sort of uh, Cuban collar or camp collar um, shirt is really in at the minute and I'm kind of digging the, um, the herons as well Japanese and Chinese prints still quite cool as well at the minute, so um, look out for that. And then here I have a selection of things which came with a very lovely letter from um, a lady called um, Alice and her husband Ed, who wrote me and Tana a handwritten letter, which is lovely. Um, their husband and wife, and Alice um, has like this jewellery brand and she makes everything's made um, in the UK. And she sent me here a selection of things. So I have um, uh, cufflinks here and black tie shirt studs, which are really lovely. So who knows, maybe I'll be wearing them in Cannes. Um, here I have uh, kind of like a necklace. Uh, um, I don't know how to explain it but you kind of make your own so I've got like a silver chain here and a gold chain there and you can kind of put the accessory on that you want so you can swap it around and here this is lovely I have a kind of a, a simple um, silver colour band and I currently wear this guy here that Tom bought me as my wedding gift which is Cartier which I love it's beautiful I have a slight issue with it in that it has to be unscrewed to take off and I've recently taken up boxing, which I really enjoy, but I can't box with this on, so I have to take it on, off and on all the time. So, definitely going to be wearing this always, but I think maybe on days when I'm boxing or something, um, I can take it off and replace it with this one, which just sort of slips on and off. Um, so yes, thanks very much everyone. That's the PO Box. Me again, I think I forgot to mention the name of the brand. I know I said that Alice made this, but the brand's actually called Alice Made This. You can see it there. So, you know, if you're interested in new jewellery, um, go and support a new up and coming brand. Hi everyone, welcome to Tuesday. Uh, the time is now 10 past 3. Um, I don't know where the time has gone. Today's flown by, I've just got into the office. Um, I had a lunch meeting and I had a breakfast thing beforehand. Uh, and I'm now in the office because I'm filming. As you can see, I've got like uh, all my uh, cocktail accoutrement out, so I'm going to film a cocktail video. Here is my look today. Um, I'm going to start with this bag, I think. So I've actually changed my bag over, which I never do. So the backpack that I showed you yesterday is like my day-to-day -day thing, which has all my gear in it, and I basically use that 99% of the time. The reason I'm using this one today is because I've got a nice new jacket on, which is kind of like a dusty pink colour, and I um, didn't want to get like big heavy leather straps on it, because I thought it might damage it or something, because this is a brand new jacket, and I didn't want to upset it. And also, I really like the way sort of the dusty grey and dusty pink go together. I think it's, it's a nice little um, ensemble. Anyway, um, let me show you what is going on with this. This bag is from, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, Joffre, I think, G-E-O-F-R-E, -E, and it's beautiful. You get kind of like two parts of it. This leather bit here is like, um, I'll tell you what, I'll show you it. You can unzip this bit, like so, uh, and have sort of two individual bits. So you unzip this, and then you've got the leather bit which you can then just fill up like that, or I have them together, so which is what I've been doing. Um, and that's then kind of like a big sack, basically, for all of your belongings. And then in here, I have all the stuff for today. This jacket I'm obsessed with, I bought this the other day, it's from Dunhill. It's a real investment piece, it wasn't that cheap, but it is beautiful. It's like a new buck suede type thing. Um, and it's a, it's a pink, you know, it's, it's a real kind of 
quite a statement, quite a springy item, where everything else I'm wearing is all black, like yesterday, but I thought, you know, the sun is coming out here and there today, so I wanted to sort of amp it up a bit, so I've gone springy. Uh, my t-shirt underneath looks a bit like something from Deathly Hallows, but it's not, it's from Alexander McQueen. I've had this for a long time. Just like a really simple, easy black t-shirt with a big white logo on it. My jacket has been kind of um, fluffing it a little bit. And the black is the same as yesterday, the uh, Levi's 501 tees, and then I have on black Converse. And you know that when you're, when I was younger, when I was at university, having your Converse kind of grubby was the thing to do, but I feel like now I wish I were a little cleaner, because <laughs> I feel this, this looks kind of quite clean and quite tidy, and then my shoes are a bit grubby, so maybe I'll put them in the washing machine or something. That's my look, now I'm gonna make a cocktail. Another day in paradise, everyone. It's um, raining and miserable. Welcome to another instalment of how to get by in the miserable weather and what to wear. Um, I'm in the, the Gleam office at the moment. I had a meeting this morning. I had two meetings this morning. I um, swung by the Gleam office and now I'm going to Selfridges to show you something really cool. And that is where I'll show you my outfit and everything. But check my PO box and look what came. How cool is this? So you might know this. I used to skateboard when I was like... 14 to when I was about 18, used to like just live on my skateboard. Uh, and Jimmy Choo have a new um, fragrance out called Blue, uh, Jimmy Choo Man Blue, which actually smells really good. Um, and they sent me a very cool skateboard along with it, which makes me feel super nostalgic. I took it for a little spin on that little area there in the office. Um, not as good as I remember, <laughs> if I'm being totally honest, but still felt cool. Wear the wrong shoes for it though, you know? Chelsea boots aren't the things to, to wear on a skateboard. Look who that is. You'll never guess where we are. We are at actual Selfridges. I'm in the window of Selfridges. How cool is that? I'm about to explain what's going on. But first, um, let me run you through my outfit. The time is now quarter past five, and it's as nice as it's been all day. It's like bright and clear and lovely now. Um, so now I feel kind of a bit overdressed, <laughs> like I'm wearing too many layers. But here's what's going on. I have a white t-shirt on. The white t-shirt comes from a brand called um, Son of a Tailor, and then my new favorite basic t-shirt. You can get everything measured. Uh, over that, I've got a denim jacket, and I've used it as kind of a mid layer. Uh, this is from, do you know, I've got no idea where it's from, it's from somewhere. It's quite, it's, it's a nice denim jacket, right? It's just kind of really basic, really simple. I can't remember where it's from. This coat, though, is from Burberry, and I love it to bits, and I bring it out all the time. And actually, I've been looking for an excuse to wear it. It's been a bit warm lately, um, so I bought it out today. These uh, trousers are cords, and they are from. Um, Ralph Lauren, um, and I had them altered because they were quite wide to start with. I've got very slim legs, so I have them taken in a bit. And then the boots are from um, Coach, and they've done me well today because it's been raining. And then, of course, I've got the same back that I've been wearing um, the last few days. That's the look. Good morning, it's Thursday and Thursday is a beautiful day which is doubly good for me because I've got a day when I'm working from home which basically means I'm at my own schedule. So this morning I started with a boxing session. My boxing gym is this building just behind me here and it's super cool um, but it's miles away. Like it's really stinky and dirty and everything's broken but my trainer's wicked and he trains like a lot of pro boxers and stuff. And I've only been doing it like two months so I'm not very good but I love doing it. Um, and because I'm working from home today, I've got the freedom to sort of do things at my own time scale, which is great. So um, there's no point really running through my outfit because I'm just kind of wearing my, my gym stuff and I've just finished my workout. So currently I stink. I'm gonna go home now, have a shower, put on something very similar actually, sit at my desk all day and do loads of writing. So I'll see you tomorrow. It's the Friday edition of what I'm wearing today. And today actually I'm wearing lots of things. I'm filming a video um, in my new office area and um, it's all about denim jackets, three ways to style denim jackets. And I bought about six denim jackets with me. Wait for that car to go by. Um, the one I'm wearing right now is a particularly special one. So I'm gonna show you, oh, by the way, I've got the dog as well. Here she is. I'm gonna show you this denim jacket. Only two of these jackets exist in the entire world. Um, one of which belongs to me. The other one is, or was, on display in a museum somewhere in LA because I designed this jacket with Levi. So it's grey, as you can see. Um, and actually what I, what I did, I started with like a, a blank denim jacket and then added my touch to it. So I've got really long arms, as you can see, and denim jackets usually are quite short. So you can see this little patch here that my dog is now pointing to expertly. That's a, an addition um, to it. So basically it makes it longer. And also, on one of them, is it this hand or the other one? Oh yes, on this one it says made in England, because I made in England. Uh, and on the back of it is an image that I actually drew on my iPad, um, which is a skull, and it has um, 
the line, All I Need, which is actually one of my favourite Radiohead songs, and plus I just think it's a really beautiful thing to say. Um, so I drew that out of my iPad and sent it to Levi's, who then kind of made this jacket and sent me one copy, and the other one is in LA somewhere. Uh, I'm wearing a dog today, this is my dog called Martha, she's a sausage. Um, she's kind of, she's up for exploring right now, so she's not really paying any attention. T-shirt, plain white t-shirt, the same one I wore the other day, I have about three of them, because when I tend to, when I find basics, I tend to get like a few, items, a few um, options. These jeans, Actually, also Levi's, and these are Lot Ones. And again, these are very special, actually. Uh, coincidence, I didn't mean to kind of double up on my Levi specials. Um, these are from a part of Levi's called Lot One, but basically you go in and you can tailor them entirely to your needs. And they take your measurements and they ask you what you're into, what you like. I've gone for like a really um, beautiful selvage denim. It's a very thick denim, but over time it will fade and wear. I've had these for about a year and they're really like, I've never washed them. I, what I do actually is I freeze them. So the idea behind these is you, you, your denim, you don't want to wash it too much. What you can do if you're quite clean is you freeze your denim and it kind of kills all the bacteria and germs and you get them out there, they're clean again. So the more you wash them, the more they kind of start to disintegrate and the color fades. And I want these to fade really naturally. So over time, they'll get kind of more worn in. And already you can see the side effect a little bit on my um, sort of thighs here. Um, but I love them and, I, and you know, these are going to live, live with me for probably forever until you know, my legs get too big and grow out of it. And then Converse. And that is my look for today. There are many more looks to come but I'm not going to film them all for you because you'll see them in the video.